Without a doubt, one of the most outrageous performance enterprises of the 1960s was the Turbonique Company of Orlando, Florida. Aimed at the drag racing market, their products consisted of three basic devices, AP superchargers, micro-turbo thrust engines, and rocket drag axles. All were designed for short use periods due to their use of a solid fuel known then as thermaline, its proper chemical name, N-propyl nitrate. Their most outlandish device was the rocket drag axle, which connected mechanically to a car's differential and, when ignited, surpassed the engine's motive power and launched the vehicle forward at an astonishing rate of acceleration. Built by R.J. Reynolds tobacco heir Zachary Reynolds, the Tobacco King 1964 Ford Galaxy was as wild an example of a rocket drag axle equipped car as one could ask for, and certainly reflected Reynolds' daredevil personality. Playboy, pilot, ham radio enthusiast, and all-around enfant terrible, Reynolds wanted a car that would terrorize everyone with its appearance alone just before slamming their senses with a prodigious detonation of rocket axle power. The Tobacco King certainly fulfilled that mission. Reynolds replaced the Raven Black Galaxy's original engine with a Latham supercharged 427 fed by four Carter side draft carburetors, but that wasn't enough. Reynolds took the whole project the extra distance by installing an 850 horsepower rocket drag axle. The rest of the car had to be modified to handle the colossal acceleration of which it was then capable, and ground clearance increased to accommodate the huge turbine housing that shot its rocket exhaust out from underneath the rear bumper. The car's visual effect is simply stunning. From the front it looks every bit the mid-60s AFX racer of the Thunderbolt variety, with drop suspension, dump tubes, and unpolished American torque thrust wheels. The picture is only completed by approaching the thing, if you dare, from behind, where the Black Simpson chute pack and twin large diameter tailpipes draw the eyes down to that alien looking rocket exhaust pod. Inside, the Galaxy's stock instrument panel is augmented by a set of gauges to monitor engine RPM, supercharger boost, and the space age bomb lurking out back. The ham radio installed beneath the dash speaks to Reynolds' passion as a ham operator. This was as crazy as crazy got in 1967, and is no less so for the years that have passed. Zachary Reynolds put a total of only 3,600 miles on the car before his untimely death in a 1979 plane crash in North Carolina, after which the car was placed in careful storage until recently. It is accompanied by early registrations, the original owner's manual made out to Zachary Taylor Reynolds, an original Turbonique product catalog with photos, the original Latham supercharger literature and Zach's personal notebook. Unrestored and original, it is in superb condition inside and out, a delightfully shocking artifact that beckons to the daredevil in all of us.